Where's the captain? Ah, uh, right there. Uh, something's not right. I feel so out of it. Sayaka Nishizono, I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you... Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh great, the MRC. <sighs> what do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down, I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. What are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah, apparently he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Right, and it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Yeah, and we've got a meet coming up soon. It's so much pressure. I see. Then the stars really did align in your favor. Um, what? Listen, Senpai, I know we might seem desperate, but it's not like we need any favors. Don't worry, you don't owe me for this. I'm offering you a potential advisor as a token of goodwill. A uh, potential advisor? <laughs> Let's not sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yakumi-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. Help with their routine? When did I ever say that? Oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed. You know, I can tell you had a certain something about you. So how long have you been a pro dancer? Uh, I'm not. <gasps> oh, so modest. This is like one of those dream come true moments in a movie. I've been literally racking my brain trying to come up with a workable routine. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 time out. I'm missing some important qualifications here. Yagami-san, this is your Reichenbach Falls moment. You need to dive headfirst into the challenge. Don't you get it? Uh, no? Um, do you think we can get started? We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A game. But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? That wow factor. It's really kind of down to the wire to be figuring this stuff out, but I know we'll push through if we try. Uh-huh. <laughs> so can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on, or...? Uh, you know, it's hard to say what's going on at this point. I shouldn't have to say this, but keen observation is elementary for a detective. And? And? You need to tell them what you observed. You did have your eyes open, didn't you? So, the music's not a bad choice, but it'll take more than your average dance mix to stick in the audience's minds. Have you considered traditional Enka? Nobody'd see that coming. Uh, enka? Well, it is old school, so dancing to it might be innovative. Um, but we can't just start over with a new song after all the hard work we put in. They have the rhythm, they know their moves, what they lack is prep time. She told you all that, remember? Besides, it'd be demoralizing to make them reset everything this late in the game. Yeah, demor- I think your performance could use a little more flair. Flair? How so? Well, you're already in perfect sync, and everyone knows their part. But, how to put it? You were right. It needs something that's going to leave a lasting impact. 
I see what you mean. Maybe we are just kind of going through the motions here. If only we could come up with better stuff. Oh, maybe you could give us some suggestions. Oh. Let's take apart what could give you the edge you need. Why not incorporate Kung Fu? Uh, did you just say Kung Fu? Sure did. Throw a few kicks and punches, or knock the competition right out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And it's not like martial arts-based dancing is entirely unheard of. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Well, you're in luck. Kung Fu happens to be a hobby of mine. <gasps> no way! That's so cool! Well, it's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls, but it's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? I guess I'm gonna have to. Sweet! Then let's get a quick demonstration. <laughs> let's see some ass-kicking dance then. <laughs> Wait, really? I really have to do this? Of course. How else are we going to learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. What if my stuff doesn't fit your routine at all? So you're not going to help us after all? That's pretty weak. If you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Uh, hold it. Huh? You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. I've never done this before, though, so don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Okay. What we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure. Good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. <laughs> and there. Now you take it away. Whoa. Doubt I can top that. But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? Freaking dance! Skill and part I don't think a your... seasoned athlete could pull that off. Yagami-san, that was incredible. Wow. You're not just a You're pro. You're giving amateur way too much credit here. No way an amateur moves like that. You're something else. Maybe you don't realize it, but you have a gift for this. You're totally a born dancer. <laughs> I don't know about all that. What you call a gift, I call muscle memory. Whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine. 
if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami-san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointer sometime? Ever since our advisor stopped showing, we've barely been keeping it together. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. If you guys will have me, then sure. Not sure I have many pointers left, though. Hmm. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagmi-san. Huh? Oh, sure. So, did I pass? I'd say I made plenty of headway with the dance club. Indeed you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Nishizona-san over. Every time I try to approach her, she reacts like I'm there to accuse her of something. Gee, I wonder why. I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up with us. Oh, I'm amazing now. Does this mean I'm no longer a criminal? Yeah, I really should apologize for that at some point. Also, I have another theory as to why you installed that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, and your objective here starts taking shape. But, I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours, so for now, I'll let that theory sit. At any rate, Yagami-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. That is to say, I'll formally request you as our... Well, that'd be great. But do you really think you'll hire me just like that? Sure, so long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor, I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, but that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. Anyway, is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. The chairman actually promised to sign off on whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he'd told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance, and it's a pleasure to be on board. Oh, when you have a spare moment, could you join us in the clubroom for a talk? I'd like your advice on another case we're monitoring. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes. And this one may actually be even nastier. In fact, the sugar baby may be but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracies. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point.
Hey guys, how are we all doing? Sweating it out on some layups? Uh, who are you? My name's Yagami. I've been the MRC's advisor for all of a couple minutes, and I need to ask the basketball club a few questions. Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but... He was... Enthusiastic? Yeah, I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, from class 2-2? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakane, anyone. Something special about class 2-2? <laughs> well, yeah. Koda's in 2-2, and she was Mikoshiba Sensei's star pupil. Star pupil? I do know who you're talking about, by the way. Are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way. Mikoshiba sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikoshiba sensei knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like the model instructor. Ah, eh, if you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Oh? Mikoshiba sensei might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Like, he'd make her shoot and then go, See? That was how not to do it. Are you saying he would mock her? Hmm, that makes it sound bad. He was doing it because he cared, I think? Hey, wasn't Mikoshiba sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? <laughs> he said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. That's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's fair. Anyway, when Mikoshiba sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. If Mikoshiba sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Yeah, people like to gossip, but as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Koda-san's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, are we about done here? Last thing, where are Koda-san and the others? Are they off in this late? No, everyone's usually here by now. Huh. Maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay, and I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? <laughs>